Hello everybody and welcome back to another Spooky Sunday. I know I have been pretty much MIA the past couple weeks and a lot has really been going on. As you can see, I've messed up my hand and it makes filming a little bit harder for me. Um, I'm really limited on what I can do, especially at work. So bear with me, I'm trying my best, work me through the pain and all this stuff, but I'll be fine. It was nothing too major. Uh, pretty minor, but I'm still going through the pain and stuff like that. But anyways, today for Spooky Sunday, like I promised, I will be filming a little bit extra for you guys because I know I've missed some Fridays and some Sundays, and I apologize for that. Um, all that stuff was happening in that time frame, and it was just really tough for me to really film because I was just so unmotivated with everything going on. And it just seems like October has been nothing but one thing after another after another, especially at work. Oh my gosh. As if anything could get any worse, knock on wood. Like, since my desk is made out of wood. Seriously. But today, I will be doing my final subscription boxes um, for October. Like I did last month, I will be going through three witchy box subscriptions with you guys and going over the brands and what contents are inside these boxes. So let me show you guys what I got. Here are the three boxes that I got and one you guys will probably think looks really familiar because yes, I did do one of these brands last month and I really liked it. So I decided to do it again. And so I think let's go with the purple one first because that's the one I got first in the mail. Um, this is the one that I accidentally ordered last month, but they weren't going to send it to me until October. So I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to do that one then. I already paid for it. So this is the Goddess Provisions box. I don't want to send you my shipping. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a little small. I can't remember how much this one cost. I think this one cost. <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious. <clears throat> I think this one costs around 30 something dollars. I think it was like 33. I didn't actually write it down this time, unfortunately. I was kind of in a time pinch. So upon opening this box, this is what I see first off. Whoa, kind of curious what's inside this. Oh, did something just fall out? What was that? I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna pull this little string in the front and see what this is. Oh, okay, string. I'm imagine, I imagine this is a tote bag. Okay, yes it is. I thought it was a shirt. That would be nice to get a shirt. So on this tote bag is, you see the sun and the moon, and it looks like there is a woman or a goddess in the front. And it's the same on front and back. There's lettering inside. I don't know what it says. It says Cosmic Collage Goddess Provisions. And on this it says Cosmic Collaboration of Cosmic Collage. So I guess this is the company where this um, tote comes from and they kind of collab with them on that. It stands for balance um, between the energy and yourself, you know, pulling in different directions. And let's see, I also got, ooh, what is this? Normally there's like a little pamphlet thing that comes in here and tells me what all is in here and my hand, I can't tear this open so I have to use scissors. It looks like an arrowhead. Or some type of stone. Ooh, this is nice. So this is what the stone looks like. It kind of looks like um, tourmaline, but I'd have to double check to be sure. I work with a lot of stones on a daily, so I'm really good at differentiating what types of stones are what. Because that is part of my job. You know, my job description is to know a lot about stones. Um... Oh, there is a little book in here. Wow, all the stuff's at the bottom. Talk about unorganized. Okay, it's black kyanite. Okay, so I already got the collage tote bag and then the kyanite. Okay, so here's all the stuff that's in the box. This is a chocolate that loves you back. Ooh, so this is this. Cool, antidote coffee plus cardamom chocolate. Kakia is the Greek goddess of vice. Follow her lead and treat yourself to this vegan chocolate bar with antioxidant-rich ingredients like cacao, arabica, coffee, and cardamom. 
Indulging in pleasures has never felt better. This cost seven dollars, but with this coupon um, that they give to you, it's like God is fifteen. On their website, you can get fifteen percent off on this chocolate. Definitely have to take this to work with me and try it because it sounds yummy. I have never really tried a lot of vegan stuff because I'm not vegan, but always willing to try anything new. That's just how I am. And next, I have in this little box, um, it says Lotus Flower Shadow Caster. Oh, it's a tea light candle holder. Ooh, I already have one of these and it's from my last month and it looks like a little Buddha. So I'm kind of curious what this one looks like. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. So it's just like this little metal candle holder. All right. Okay. This one I'm going to have to cut open because it's got some tape on it. It says candles. So I'm assuming it's probably a candle. It says Zenden candles, specially made for goddess provisions. So I'm sure a lot of companies do work together with goddess provisions to, you know, put their things in this box. Which is pretty neat. I've always thought about doing something like that from my job because at my work we do put together a lot of like witchy type products for people. And it's, I think that'd be kind of cool to provide a subscription service for our customers to get every month. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like a purple, uh, it looks like an amethyst crystal candle. This is cute. Very nice. I wonder if it smells like anything. No, it's unscented, but it's it's really cute looking. It's aesthetically pleasing because it looks like a purple crystal, like an amethyst. That is neat. That is so neat. What else am I missing in here? So let's see. I got the cluster candle. I got the cosmic bag. The mum, 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 mum. oh, it's a shadow caster. What? But where's the thingy that goes on the back side? Oh, here it is. Oh my god, I almost dropped it. Ow, my hand. My hand. Oh, it's a shadow caster candle holder. I was like, I know I'm missing a piece. That's why they call it Lotus. I was like, wait a second. If I can put this together with one hand, that's what I'm doing right now. Here we go. I was, I knew I was missing a piece once I saw that picture. I was like, wait a second, I'm missing something. So here, it's a shadow caster. Okay, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Woo. And then I think... Ooh, there's a tattoo in here by Inkbox. I'm sure you guys have seen ads and commercials about Inkbox. It's like a temporary tattoo, but it looks like a real tattoo. And they sent me one. Ooh, cool. I've always wanted to try these. <gasps> okay, here. Yeah, so it comes in this little pack. Um, it says Inkbox on it. And here is the little tattoo that I've got. It's like a little, it's a lotus. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to try my best to show you guys. There you go. It's like a flower with crystals. Uh, I think it's like a lotus or a peony. It kind of looks like a peony. I'm not going to lie. Um, and there's like a crystal behind it. That would make a really cute tattoo. I've actually been thinking about getting another tattoo um, lately. But I want to go for something a little bit smaller. I actually want to do a lot of smaller ones. Just to add on to my collection of bigger tattoos. And so I've been really, really thinking hard because I'm very picky about who does my tattoo work and all that stuff. So that's why I haven't gotten any yet, but definitely plan on getting some more. And it comes with, um, you know, like a how to and primer wipes. I'm sure you got to wipe yourself down first before you put your tattoo on. And that is it. That is everything that comes in this um, Goddess Provisions box. So far, I think this was my first box from them and I'm pretty impressed. I like that. That was actually very nice. Now we're going to move on to Tamed Wild. Alright, so here I have Tamed Wild. I decided I was going to buy another one because I really, really liked what was inside last month's box. So I was really curious since this month is obviously Halloween slash Samhain. You know, you know, you know. I love, I love Halloween, especially this time of the year with the full moon and also the blue moon being exactly on the day of Halloween. As if anything could get better than that. I freaking love it. Ooh, okay. So opening the box, this is what it looks like. Let's see what I got this time. Last time I had a hard time really navigating what was inside the box on their pamphlet. So I'm just going to skip that part. Um, Inside this box looks like some kind of jewelry. 
Ooh. Oh, wow. It's a pendulum. Oh, it's stuck to my fingers. Okay, so this is the pendulum that I got. This is really pretty. I'm going to hang this up like on my wall next to my really good pendulum. Because I have a custom-made pendulum that a customer at my work made me, and it's to die for. It really is. And I also have this little pouch, which I think has another charm in it. I got another charm last month, and I think it was like a plant charm. This one has the, the hermit, like the tarot card hermit. That's the kind of picture it has on it. See if I can open it up and make it land in my hand without hurting myself. It's really hard to do this with one hand. So this is the charm. It's the hermit. I'm not really going to zoom in just because it's going to mess up my thing. There you go. So I'm going to put that right here. And it talks about, you know, beyond the veil of like Halloween and stuff like that. Things that you can do, like ritual type things, um, ritual tools. Well, actually, ritual tools is what's in this box. So I'm going to keep this on hand. And then this other stuff is about hosting a supper. I like to keep these little cards and stuff because I like to add them into you know, my book of shadows that I'll end up making eventually. I haven't made one yet just because I'm looking for the right book to really put it in. Um, next is this tar tarot, tarot guidebook. I don't know if they're going to send me tarot cards, but it's a tarot guidebook. And of course, it shows like the different spreads you can do. It describes the different cards. So it kind of makes me wonder if they're going to give me a deck. Um, doesn't look like it actually. So, reached in for this. This is a couple, actually a few tarot cards. I'm going to take this off. See what cards they gave me. So, I get, they gave me the Empress. They gave me the King of Wands. And they gave me Death, which is... <sighs> Death is not always a bad card. Um, if you know how to read your cards. It's, sometimes it could mean something else. But I'm going to keep this in the order that they're in and actually end up reading them later on. Because this is very interesting that I ended up getting that card, ironically enough. Weird things have been happening this month. Um, I also got a sticker. I got a selenite wand, which I have a bunch of these and I can never get enough. That's for sure. I also got full moon tea. Last time I think they sent me red moon tea. And this one is a full moon tea blend. I'm kind of wondering if it has a blue lotus in it. But it doesn't look like it. This one has a blend of black tea and fruits. Yeah, black tea. A couple different fruits. Um, some flowers. Cinnamon. Fruit and spice pretty much. I actually haven't tried the other one yet. But this one I'm definitely definitely gonna have to try and then next lastly but not least I have this one, this one doesn't look like a bag but it looks like let me see what could this one be I got that I got that history of Sam Hain and dumb supper that's what it says on the car it says dumb supper um also got the selenite one the tarot card amulet I got the brass pendulum. Okay, so this is a altar cloth. I've never had one of these before, but I have been needing one. Just haven't found the right kind of thing. I'm, I'm one of those people who has to like, and I know other witches are like this also. You kind of just have to feel. You have to feel what feels right for you. You know what I mean? You gravitate towards it. And this is what my altar cloth looks like. That is pretty neat. One of the things that... I don't use I don't use anything that has a pentagram on it which is weird because I feel like when people see a pentagram it's just automatically you're a witch you're a devil worshiper and while I don't use pentagrams in anything I use other symbols um I like I get a lot of my power from the moon so I'm more of like a moon symbol type person I find I get my power and protection from the moon versus you know the pentagram stuff like that so this has like a symbol of ruins on it and it's pretty cool. I wonder what Noah says. It says no. It says hello. It says yes. 
and it says goodbye. I feel like this is something you could also do with a pendulum. So if you have like a pendulum stand that you can like hang your pendulum from, you can actually put it over this and use this for some type of divination, which is pretty interesting because I just got a scrying mirror and I finally have my pendulum. And this was literally the last thing I needed, which was like a pendulum reading like altar cloth in a way. It's pretty crazy because I don't use Ouija boards. Um, Ouija boards are bad at my work. We don't believe in them. We always suggest to people don't use them, stay away from them because they're just bad. So now let's move on to the last box. Last but not least is the Awakening in a Box. I think last month they gave me a deck of Oracle cards. And so this one, I believe I ordered tarot cards. And this one feels really heavy. So I have to open this really, really carefully. Okay, can't really hold up the box because it's really heavy. Um, there's actually a lot of heavy items in here. So I kind of need my other arm to like hold it up. Um, first thing I'm pulling out is the Pyramid Incense Cone. It's hand dipped and naturally dyed. Kind of curious what this smells like. I might end up taking this to work. Um, it says Spice Pumpkin. I've never really been a Spice Pumpkin fan or Pumpkin Spice Latte just because that's just, that's just not me. But I'm gonna take this to work and try it out actually. Um, next thing I have looks like a, this actually looks like a tea light candle holder. And again, it has a pentagram on it, which I don't use. So I might end up taking this to work and just selling it um, under like consignment products under my name. Next, I have, this one looks like some kind of candle. I might have to cut it open because I can't do it with one hand. I like this box actually because they do send you like different kinds of like decks. So depending on what option you choose, if you're choosing the um, tarot box or the oracle box, they do send you different decks every month and that's one thing I like about it. Okay, so in this bag was a smoky quartz and I've actually been wanting one of these, especially a point, um, just to have in my space a lot more. I love stones and I have these little cages that like hold the stones in them to wear and I'm always like switching out whichever ones I kind of need for that day, whether it's a little bit of confidence, a little bit of emotional stability or, you know, anything like that. I'm usually switching it out, but I always cleanse my crystals first. Never forget to do that. Last but not least in this box and finally, the Crow Tarot deck created by MJ Kulanane, cool Kulanane, cool cool something like that. Um, This is interesting. I haven't really had the chance to look through this. I've been needing a tarot deck for practice because I'm still in that learning phase. I don't know how to read tarot. I do read Oracle because it's different, but there's a certain deck that I like that works better for me. The one that I got last month, I had a hard time reading it, so I'm not really a huge fan of it. And so, like I said, I might end up selling this stuff under consignment. So... This is what it looks like. I can't really open it because it's like fully wrapped up and I'm kind of in a time pinch. I'm doing this right before I go to work. So anyways, since I'm a little bit short on time, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, quick kind of subscription box video. If I can find the prices on them, I will link them down below and I'll try to find the links on where I got them from because I probably forgot, but don't worry. I will find it and link it down below if you're curious where I got it from and also include the prices and all that stuff. I won't include what's in there just because it's always different. Um, but yeah, so far, that's all I have for this video. Don't worry, I have some more videos coming. I think I'll be doing like another paranormal video um, and I'll also be doing another clothing haul. But since shipping delays are happening so much right now, I don't know why, it's weird. Um, I might be getting some things kind of late, so at least you guys will still see it. And I will still be able to get it out to you guys as fast as I can. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. And I hope you guys have an amazing Halloween. Always remember to stay positive on the night of Halloween. Because that night is going to set the rest of your year. And also probably into next year. So remember to stay positive. Forget about all the negativity that's happening around you. And just do you. Do you. 
I will see you guys next time. If you guys like this kind of content, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get notifications of when I post my videos. I will see you guys next time in another video. Bye!